Hello everyone, Raven of the Retro Dev here, and in this video, we are going to set up uh, printers inside of 86 box for use in FreeDOS. So uh, if we go to settings, tools, settings, as you saw, and you go to ports, com, and LPT, which will be the parallel port, and you can just enable the first three. And there are several different kinds of options here. Now, generic text printer is supposed to print text files, but for some strange reason, edit actually tries to print uh, like a PNG or PDF, I'm not really sure. But the dot matrix will print a text file. But the dot matrix, according to the 86 box documentation, I believe is supposed to actually spit out a PNG and the postscript uh, just obviously puts out a PDF, which doesn't work with uh, edit, but that's okay. So um, we're just we just need this for a future tutorial. So, and of course, if you wish to set up any form of word processor or anything like that, this is very useful. So this is perfectly fine. You just have to remember which uh, parallel port they're in. You can always go up to Tools and pull it up anytime you like. So we'll just hit OK, and we'll just run through it really fast, and we'll just select that, and then it'll load everything, and it's totally fine with parallel ports three and gobbled up and we'll just do edit and we'll just do a file new and we'll do hello youtube huh. this is a text document and print this question mark so we'll just do a printer setup and we'll select the second printer port and we'll just leave all this alone enter and we'll go to file and then we'll go to print form feed find whatever uh, now we'll just go to 86 box and in 86 box wherever you have it set up uh we go into the printer and we open it up and what do we have here Ta-da! we have a text document that literally says exactly what we have here pretty cool right so edit is very basic it's not a, i would not i would not recommend it's like it's the notepad of ms dos but or FreeDOS, because this is the FreeDOS editors, which is a little more advanced than the MS-DOS one. Um, not really very perfect. But in another video, we're going to install WordPerfect and probably various other programs, because I have a bunch of different uh, programs I'd like to install, and that's what we need the printers for. So now you can print utilizing these tools, and that's it. I hope you guys liked it. This was a really short one, but... Um, it really isn't that hard to set up a printer with 86 box, which is awesome. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, join the forums, check out over there. Uh, if you have any, uh, you know, you need some help, you can also get some help there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.